Men have always wondered how the large of the Egyptian pyramids, the Great Pyramid Giza, was built, as the only one of the famed seven wonders of the ancient world that still stands. With a height of 480 feet, composed of more than 2.3 million stone blocks, some people have argued that it was beyond ancient man's abilities and must have been constructed by aliens. Modern engineers have calculated, however, that the Egyptians, using copper tools to chisel the rock and sledges to hold the stones to the site, could have built the structure in just 20 years. Not that the Egyptians were always wonderful pyramid makers. Their earliest attempts were actually several square tombs piled on top of each other in a set of steps. Later these became the smooth-sided pyramids we envision when we think of Egypt. This change in design, however, also had a learning curve. At the Bent Pyramid, the architect started his project with too steep an incline and modified it to a more gentle pitch as he neared the top. Some hastily constructed pyramids only survive today as a core of rock. These are reduced to rubble by time, erosion, and earthquakes. When the Great Pyramid was made, however, Egyptian construction techniques were at their best. The Greek historian Herodotus tells us machines were used to lift the stones to the top. While some levers and cranes might have been used to shift the blocks in their final positions, however, engineers think it is more likely a ramp was used to get the stones up the side of the pyramid. The shape of the ramp has always puzzled scientists, however. A straight ramp would be too long and require more material than the pyramid itself. For this reason, archaeologists have pondered alternative ramp shapes, perhaps one that zigzagged up the front, or perhaps a spiral around the outside of the pyramid. The problem is that any ramp that hid the corners and sides of the pyramid would make it very hard for Egyptians to make sure they were building along straight lines. Also, turning the sledges around corners would be a challenge. The French architect Jean-Pierre Houdin suggests that in addition to the known internal structures of the pyramid, the Egyptians constructed an internal spiral ramp, with notches left temporarily open at each corner to let in air and light. In his theory, the bottom third of the pyramid was built with a straight ramp. The stone of the ramp was then disassembled and moved up through the tunnels to build the top of the structure. Cranes at the notches made turning the sledges easy. Is Houdin right? A microgravity survey of the pyramid revealed a surprising anomaly, a spiral shape that might be the internal ramps. Scientists are now working on tests that will prove the idea one way or the other. When the results are known, perhaps this last mystery of the Great Pyramid will finally be put to rest. <laughs>